Welcome to West Wire Fall Varsity Media Day. I'm JJ Rella, managing editor of the West Wire, and I'm here with football. Uh, I'm Ryan Lasher, senior running back. I'm Riley Ruan, senior running back. I'm Sam Long, senior quarterback. I'm Chris Nigro, senior guard. Coach Benaquista, head football coach. What are your main individual or team goals for this season? I would say as far as team goals, uh, we want to win a state championship. And um, from this point out, I think one of our big goals is to win every game uh, the rest of the season. We think we could do it. I think we had uh, most of our tougher games for uh, the regular season already played. I think we're getting better every week, so I think we could do that. Do you have any traditions or rituals before or after games that build team chemistry between you guys? Every uh, day before the game, we have a pasta dinner. Uh, we go into the middle school or the high school cafeteria, and uh, all the moms or, or dads make us food, and we come together as a team, and we eat all the food that they made. How do you want to be remembered by your coaches, teammates, and those that are trying out for varsity football in the future? Obviously, we'd like to be remembered as the team that won the state championship in 2023. Uh, but as my coaches, I want them to remember me as somebody who was a good leader and who was a good player for the team. Um, and as anyone else who wants to try out for varsity, I want them to look up to any of us, all of us guys, um, as someone they could be like as a role model. Coach, congratulations on your 100th win. It came against Wayne Valley. What did that mean? to you as a coach? I mean, personally, it, it means I've been coaching for a long time, but in, in all in all reality, I've been blessed to be surrounded by great players like these guys, great coaches, um, kids that really play hard for our program. Um, you don't win that many games without having people that are just, you know, great support system. And um, these guys right here, these captains, along with L. Dean, who's not with us, he's at another meeting, are just great leaders, and, and I'm really proud of the effort they put in every day and, and the way that they lead the young guys. Um, and like, you know, these guys were saying, we're getting better every week, and, and hopefully we can make a nice run towards the end of the season. For you as players, what does it mean to be able to get that 100th win for your coach? For us as players, I, for one, who've been playing with Coach Benny for three years, I mean, it means a lot. We've put a lot of work and effort into building – this team and I think coach has put up a lot of his years as a dad and father into building this career. Football is obviously incredibly physically demanding. You go through hit after hit every single game. How do you keep up with that and keep going week after week? I think it's just about dealing with what you're going through, whether it's just like minor pain or bigger than that and just trying to get better, uh, feel your best by Friday night. You know, you might feel sore or something after the game, but you don't want to jump to conclusions or think it's worse than it is you kind of just want to deal with it as the week goes on uh ice recover and you should be good by friday how important is momentum in football and how do you feel that it sways the difference between winning and losing uh momentum is huge in football um i mean especially in special teams a block punt a big kickoff return getting a nice kickoff it's big getting that momentum on your side is uh it's, it's major. It can definitely push drives, uh, slow teams down, or give teams big leads. Maybe that they shouldn't have to begin with, but if they have momentum, it's definitely a game changer. How would you describe your relationship with your teammates? We definitely are a family. Uh, every, after every practice, we usually break it down on family. You know, Every day in the locker room, when it's at a pasta dinner, or you know, just sitting next to your teammates on your, you know, the bench, uh, you know, you, it's, like a, it's like a bond you don't have with other people. Uh, the sport of football you go through we've all been playing since we were little kids and you know playing football is more than just a game it's a it's a brotherhood that we've all had since we were little kids and you know growing up with these guys it's been a blessing really what is your one moment that stands out from your West Sussex football career that you're going to take away with you for the rest of your life can't be one um, one of the things I really enjoy collectively is just you know watching these guys grow Chris mentioned we've been together for three years and you know, I, I'm, I'm sure I yelled at him a couple times in his career when he was a younger, a little bit more immature player. But now to see these guys grow up to be the men that they are, it's why I do what I do and why I love it. Um, they're great young men. They're leaders. They're role models. And, you know, again, that process from freshman year to senior year is uh, it's, it's a growth. And like Sam said, it's a family. Um, we spend more time together than we do with our own families. And uh, that to me is the most special thing. So it's not one specific. It's just that collective of watching these guys grow. I could go with the Sam, I think watching myself grow as a as a football player and as a as a man just throughout the years of maturing and evolving into the person who I am today. If you saw someone a freshman that was trying out for football, what traits would you want them to have personally? Probably mental toughness is the most important part. Uh being able to show up every day, put your body on the line every day. Uh and knowing that most of the time, unless you're a super super special player, you might not play until your junior or senior year. 
but uh, still going through, putting all that work in to help other guys get better. You're going to want to see persistence in the freshman or anyone who wants to play football. Uh, the reason for that is because, you know, you have practice every day and it doesn't get easier. It gets a little harder when it gets a little colder after school. Somebody who's got to learn to be persistent because it's obviously, like Riley said, you're not just going to be an automatic starter. You have to work for that. You have to have grit. So I think, you know, having those two traits and plus a lot more, it's going to be a lot better for you when you're playing football. I, I think it goes into a lot of being able to be that person on special teams or on the scout team during the week and really putting yourself in acting like the player or the opponent every every play. It really goes into the drive and shows shows who you are as a player when you give your varsity team a run for their money at practice. I want to see somebody with some high moral character. Um, you know, we're not angels. We don't do everything perfectly. You know, we're going to make mistakes. But, you know, when push comes to shove, you know, we want to be real tough on the football field, but we also want to be gentlemen in the hallways, and, and these guys are perfect examples of that. Um, you know, we want the respect of our the faculty, the other students. We want people to want to root for us, and I think that's important. And based upon the, the student turnout and, and the student sections this year, people are definitely rooting for us. So that's a testament to these guys and, and, and what good guys they are.